Jai Baba, my name is Meher Rusti Bharucha and welcome to a series of A Slice of Life. Today, my father and I are going to be discussing certain issues that most children, adults and teenagers face. Ready? Yep. Okay. This is a question that has come about. So, I am a 14 year old boy and I have started understanding that I like boys and not girls. But in my school, everyone makes fun of me. Even at home, everyone ridicules me for my behavior. Am I abnormal? Okay. I don't know about what religion talks about homosexuality and lesbians. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I feel. Let's say tomorrow you come and tell me that, Dad, I'm not into boys. I'm into a girl. All I can say very honestly is, I'm only going to ask you that, are you happy? Is this who you truly are? That means your preference is towards your own sex. You're not getting influenced by something. You're coming from your thinking. And if you say yes, I'm going to say, Beta, it's your life. As long as you're happy, you have me on your side. Right? What is normal and what is it normal? I don't know. I don't know. There was a time when a man could have ten women in his life. You know, the rich landlords and all. Very openly had a wife, had a second wife, had a third wife, then they had mistresses and concubines and it was considered to be normal. Now if you try, that man will get bankrupt just paying his lawyers and alimonies and everything. Right? Right. <laughs> so, what is normal 200 years back is abnormal now. Hmm? In ancient times, when two men disagreed, they would go out and have a duel. Anything. They had a problem about anything, come out. And they would remove their swords, knives, guns, whatever, and that was it. And nobody would even get up to have a look. One guy would die, somebody would come, pick up that guy, bury that guy, that was it. Now if you do that, both of them will go to jail. Yeah, now if you do that, everyone is in jail and the family for the rest of their lives are getting poor by paying the court. Right. right? So normal and abnormal is based on what society thinks at a particular period of time. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I don't think it has got anything to do spiritually. Though of course tomorrow somebody might say, see in the Bible this is written, this is written in the Quran, this is written, I agree. I'm not saying, you're asking your father what he thinks about it. I'm talking to you as a father. I'm talking to you as a man. I have a lot of friends who are homosexuals and lesbians and uh, it doesn't matter to me. Because I don't think they are doing anything abnormal. Because eventually love goes beyond the gender of an individual. I don't love you because you are a girl. I love you because I love you. I think it is more abnormal when a parent prefers a son to a daughter. I think that is more abnormal. Rather than a boy liking a boy or a girl liking a girl. I think that is more abnormal. I find it more abnormal when someone likes somebody else because that person is white in color. Not... I find that abnormal. And that is abnormal. Yes. I find things abnormal like I will not associate with someone because of his or her religion. I find that abnormal. Whether someone likes a boy or a girl, I think that is completely an independent thought. So I don't find anything normal or abnormal in that. 
I mean, I don't even think we should be discussing this. There's nothing normal or abnormal about that. Don't hurt anyone. Be a decent human being. I think many times some children want to rebel against their parents. One of uh, that is why I told you. Yeah. So some of the why click points are. Yes. What is? Are you really? Attracted to your own sex? Is that the reason, or is there some agenda behind it? And if you were to tell me, no, I, I, this is how I feel. Truly, I don't have any agenda. Then I would say, go ahead. But if you are doing it to prove a point to someone, or you are doing it because you want to hit back at some parent or something, then I'll tell you better what you're doing is wrong. Wrong? Why? Because you're not coming from the right place. I think wrong and right is where are you coming from? I have one more question. Yeah. When we are growing up, like you know, just small, like very really tiny. Hmm. We know we are supposed to like boys, not girls, mm. or a boy knows he's mm. supposed to like a girl, not a boy. It's so. It's part of us that we have to like a boy or conditioning. It's a conditioning, yeah. yes. Why isn't that that when we are growing up, our feelings can go to the person who we actually tend to like? See that society will always try and put you in a box. You're a girl. You better learn how to cook, take care of the house. You're a boy. You better know how to support your family. If a thirteen-year-old say boy says that no, I am going to be a homemaker, the poor boy had it because we are conditioned by society, not by true right and wrong. We are conditioned by society. Have I ever? Told you, boy, girls. No. No. So you're conditioned by society, and uh, I know so many parents who actually don't mind their child being a homosexual or a lesbian, but uh, they'll never accept it for the simple fact. कि लोग क्या कहेंगे? What will society think? And uh, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. It's very bad. And I really feel sad for those boys and girls who all their lives have to live in the shadows. It's not right. Not right. As though they are doing something wrong. And those people who actually are committing wrong go about life with the chest out. So ours is a strange world. Hmm? Uh, what I would tell the boy is, hang in there. You'll find your true love. There's nothing wrong with you. Just be calm about it. Every time we are not going to be accepted, but come from the right place. That's all. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Jai Baba.